Hey everyone, my name is Taiwan Hubbard and we're here with the HM500 uh, system uh, that's produced by Hydrogen Med Biotechnologies. Uh, we're gonna do a demonstration video uh, for this unit. Uh, this unit has uh, been evaluated extensively by HU Hub um, and has passed all of our minimum uh, standards uh, and safety checks uh, for hydrogen inhalation systems. And, uh, and so we want to go ahead and do a demonstration video showing you um, the operation and functionality of the unit as well as the basic setup for the system. All the items that you'll see in this video, uh, uh, all the items you'll see in this video is actually uh, shipped with the system uh, and, uh, and that can be verified in the unboxing video that we did for this unit. Uh, so with, with no further ado, we'll just go ahead and get into it. Um, the system only requires uh, distilled water. Um, it, it actually has a caution on here. Uh, it says caution to still water home. So you only use the still water when it comes to uh, the HM500 unit. Um, it, like I said, it is a PM proton exchange membrane, pure H2 system. Uh, so it produces pure um, hydrogen gas. Uh, and uh, the purity has actually been verified and tested uh, by a lab. Uh, and uh, that report can be viewed on H2Hub um, underneath the H2, uh, HM500 uh, page and uh, it produces five impurity. That means it produces 99.999% pure hydrogen gas. So we use only distilled water. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll fill the system up first. Uh, also, um, this is the actual reservoir covering. Uh, it actually comes with a lid uh, that screws down onto the reservoir. And inside of that, uh, there is a filter. Uh, now the filter will have to be um, taken out and it's plastic. Uh, this filter is shipped with the system um, and it is only used for the reservoir itself. So we'll go ahead and place the filter back into the reservoir. And we'll go ahead and fill her up with some distilled water. Now the reservoir holds about 1.4 liters of water. Um, so I will go ahead and fill her up with about a liter water or so. A little bit more. enough for our demonstration put the lid back on uh, and then um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take out this component this actually um, is a water collector that sits on the back side of the system uh, and I'll show you how this is installed so you turn the unit around now right here you'll see uh, two slots uh, and this is actually where uh, this is actually where this is rests in this, these slots and you just click it down with clips. Um, and from there, what you want to do is go ahead and remove. This is the this is the H2 out outlet for the system. Uh, and the O2 outlet is under here uh, where the oxygen gas is uh, released from the system. And so we'll go ahead and grab the next component. Uh, and here are the two connectors. These are for the cannula, they're cannula connectors. I recommend everybody read the manual uh, of the system uh, so that you understand how to properly um, set the unit up as well and what these components are. Um, but this one, this one goes from here, um, goes from here. To here like so and this um, allows any oxygen I'm not oxygen sorry it allows any um, water moisture or mist uh, to actually be collected here um, and over a period of time um, this will actually fill up with uh, water and it can be drained easily um, with this valve now this part will connect here and this is where the cannula connects. 
on this end. So that's your cannula connector. Pretty simple, not much to it. Um, and we can actually connect the cannula as well. I'll take it out the power cord. Uh, the power cord fits into um, fits into the outlet right here, and uh, or input. I'm sorry. And then we'll we'll grab the cannula, and we will go ahead and set that up also. You know, only ships one cannula. Um, the cannulas are inexpensive and not uh, difficult to find online. Um, you, know, you can go get one from off Amazon re relatively cheap. We'll connect that. So this is how that ends up looking. And we will go ahead and connect our power cord and turn the unit on. Um, when you first turn the system on, it's actually going to uh, prime for about three minutes, uh, two to three minutes, and uh, then basic operation, you can go ahead and uh, start um, the hydrogen gas production. So the system is uh, priming and filtering on the reservoir water. And uh, so during this period, um, the actual unit itself, the maintenance levels of the system is, is uh, relatively low. Now for the basic functionality, um, this unit is uh, really simple. Um, and, and not complicated. It has a on off button um, and also has a reset button. Uh, and this reset button um, actually is for, uh, it's actually for the filter. Uh, and it has three indication lights. So one's for filter replacement. And so when this light goes off, um, it'll be time to replace uh, the filter inside the unit. Uh, and, uh, and it actually has a timing circuit in there that this system um, uh, operates on. Uh, so it'll notify you of that when it's time to replace that filter. Uh, this uh, indication light is for um, anything dealing with blockage. So if there's anything that's going to block the hydrogen gas, not, al not allowing it to flow uh, freely, uh, the system will notify you uh, and you will get a, a sound alert and also um, an indication light will go off. The system will also allow you, and the system will also let you know um, when the reservoir needs to be refilled because the water um, this is a water alert, so it'll let you know when the water is uh, getting low in the reservoir and when you need to add more. Uh, and so, other than that, um, once you replace your filter, you will push the reset button, uh, and it'll reset the timing circuit within the within the system uh, for your filter. Um, this is the basic functionality unit. It is very simple um, and not complex in the least. Okay, so now the unit has gone through its initial um, priming and startup. Uh, so only thing left is uh, to turn the system on, um, and then it'll begin to produce hydrogen gas. Um, you can see that uh, it actually shows you the hydrogen gas production uh, here on the actual display here uh, on the front panel display. And uh, other than that, the only other functionality that would be um, pressing or need need to know would be that uh, the on off button turns the system on and off um, and the system will run uh, once it's turned on um, for two hours um, and it will continue to run for two hours uh, and, and then automatically shut off. Uh, then you can also put the system into a continual operation mode um, and if you hold the button down for five seconds You hear two beeps, uh, and that notifies you to let you know the system is in continual operation mode. Now it will run for 24 hours straight, um, 24 hours straight before it automatically shuts off. Uh, and uh, those, that is the basic functionality of the system, um, and how you turn it on, and how you would go about filling up your reservoir, um, and even replacing your filter, um, and just the actual functionality of the system. The next video that we'll do for this system will be a test video um, where we test the hydrogen gas production of the system a milliliter per minute 
uh, and, uh, and you guys will be able to see that it's producing 500 milliliters per minute. So we'll go ahead and catch you next time at the H2Hub.